Right, we have a Volvo S40, 2 litre diesel. Okay, we have a power loss. Um, you know, when you drive it hard, and then uh, it just basically. Um, it just basically loses power, comes to a standstill, doesn't switch off, but uh, still idling very rough, and then revving it through a little bit, big cloud of black smoke behind us, and then she revs out clean, and then you can continue for a short while again until it happens again. Okay, so um, I suspect the fuel filter, okay, uh, the diesel fuel filter, so we'll strip that out, uh, replace it, take it for a drive and then see if that helps but once we've stripped it we can also see how dirty it is inside okay that might give us an indication okay to begin we need to take off this cover it just basically clips clips out okay. on turning it around you can see the grommet okay the rubber grommets okay there's four of them all right up top thing is the other one all right and they fit over these push studs here okay so those grommets just fit over there and it just pulls off and that's pretty easy to get off so there's this plate that we need to get out of the way we'll be using a size 8 socket I use a extension for each okay um, and just loosen up those four bolts get that plate out of the way it's like a protective plate but it also doubles as uh, one of the mounts with a push uh, when you put the, your cover on okay so we'll just get the plate out of the way so wiggle it out that's what it looks like that's your plate okay okay here's a little bracket here uh, with a torx screw we'll turn the torx screw out loosen it up turn it out as you can see but now what we need to do is we need to disconnect the inlet pipe the outlet pipe and then there is a sensor on the side which we need to turn out so loosen up but you just need to lift up a little lip you need to lift up a little lip over there lift it up okay and then it unhooks and the same with the bottom one so you just pull out the two sensors okay um, these pipes you just sort of push you know you clamp them together so the inlet pipe you just take a screwdriver you see the white section there just gently press down on it and then you pull the, the you uh, unlock the clip and then you pull the pipe out okay pipe just slides out nicely be gentle with everything you don't want to break anything okay then we have this uh, sensor at the bottom a size 22 spanner just loosen it up it's a plastic sensor so be very careful with it okay you can see where my hand is down there okay we'll just turn that sensor out of the way gently all right so we've got the, the pipes off we've got all the sensors off we turn the bottom sensor um, out as well we've drained out all the uh, the diesel inside okay now the top here is very tight the top here is very tight so before you even take the lift the filter out everything's loosened up so before you pull the filter out because you're going to have difficulty holding this unit to loosen up this very tight bolt here okay so what we'll do is we'll take a power ball with a twice size 27 socket and we'll just oops, loosen it up nicely you just have to take that one pipe out of the way i've got giuseppe helping me with that just to hold the pipes and stuff out of the way as you're turning it all loose you just tuck everything out of the way there okay so when you've got it nicely loosened up you got it loose enough until you can turn it by hand okay we'll turn it by hand we'll take it out okay and that's your filter okay that's your your filter all right so we put in the new filter but another tip is I normally take out this whole unit okay once that whole thing is loosened and I go and wash everything out okay before we put everything back so remember keep the filter in place to loosen up the top first otherwise you're going to have a hard time loosening up the top um, once you've got the whole filter out okay I'll get back to you once I got everything cleaned and we put everything back together okay so you have the difference between the the new and the old filter. We'll just take out the brand new filter. Over there. It comes with its own seal. 
like that. That's what the new filter looks like. That's the seal that comes on the, on the cap. And that's what the old filter looks like. So it's been long overdue for a, for a change. Okay. Um, and we'll see if this might just be, um, it looks like it could be the problem for this vehicle holding back. Okay, with it losing power periodically. Failing that, uh, there could be a problem with the diesel pump itself. So we'll go ahead and we'll replace this, this unit. I'll show you how to do everything, okay, and how to put it back and tighten it up and so forth. Okay, I'm back with you. Okay, so everything's been cleaned up nicely. Okay, we've gotten all the dirt out inside there. Okay, that's our lid. Our lid is nice and clean. So the first thing that we go ahead and do, we take off the old seal. Okay, um, that comes with, uh, with this unit. We'll just take it out. Okay, you can see that seal fits into, uh, into that groove there. All right, that large groove. So that's quite simple. We'll take that out. We'll take the brand new seal. What I like to do is, I like to use a bit of red rubber grease on the new seal, on the new O-ring. Um, I'll just take the rubber grease and I'll put it liberally on the seal, okay? Because we don't want the seal to bite when we're tightening the, the cap, when we're putting this top on, okay? We don't want the seal to bite. Just keep a nice rag handy as usual. We'll put that seal on. It's a bit of a stretch, but we'll just put it on. Nicely, make sure it's nicely in the groove. Take a little more grease. Just make sure that you've got the grease on the outside. Okay. And we'll just test it. We won't put the filter in yet. We'll just test to make sure that she's turning on nicely. Okay, turn. You can actually turn this thing on. Okay. Nicely. By hand, nice thread. Okay. So we'll take it loose. Now we are ready to put We are ready to put this, this filter back, okay. So what we'll do is, the first step is, we'll take the bottom, we'll put it into position, okay. We'll um, put the, we'll put the, 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 this is basically a water detecting sensor, okay. It's cruising at the bottom of your, um, of your housing, okay. We all know that diesel fuel floats on water, okay, and you can see it protruding out there. You can see there, the sensor, I'll just turn it out again, you can see. Alright, so it goes in there. So when you've got enough water in, in this unit, um, it'll switch on a warning uh, light on your dashboard to say that there is water in your fuel. Okay, and then it's time to take this unit out and clean it out again. Alright, so that sensor goes in there. But we cannot put this unit in with a sensor in place, so we need to keep the sensor out. So when we put it in, then we'll, first thing we'll do is put the sensor in, okay? And then uh, we'll, pour, we'll pour some diesel, some diesel in here, and then we'll put the filter in, and um, you know, we can maybe even just, um, yeah. When you look closely at the filter, you'll see the, that this little the protrusion has a lip on it. What that lip enables is that when you put the, uh, the filter, when you put it into the hole, you basically just have to give it a bit of a push and you'll hear it clicking in and that will hold the filter solidly in position. When you take the old filter out, you basically give the give a twist. You twist the two in opposite directions and it basically pulls apart. Okay, so that's how we do that. So let's go and put this unit in. So quite simply, as I explained, you have the square. It's got a very light taper on it, okay? That goes into into this unit here. Okay, where my finger is now, it just pushes nicely. Can you note, can you see that you won't be able to put this unit back with the sensor in place? Okay, so the sensor must be off. See how the unit slides in quite nicely there? Okay, in like that, push it down till it can't go anymore. All right, and that will hold that unit pretty tight so that you can, you know, we can put the rest of the stuff. So the next step would be to put the water sensor in, okay? We'll just go in and turn it in by hand very easily. Okay, we'll just turn it in nicely. You can actually see it starting to starting to protrude into the chamber. Okay, just turn it hand tight. Alright, it is plastic so you don't want to break it. We'll take a size 
24 spanner and just make sure that it that it is a little more than hand tight okay don't over tighten it we can in the meantime put that bottom sensor back okay that is the water sensor that it takes water in your diesel fuel okay you can see the protrusion over there the two contacts now we put a little bit of diesel in here we'll put it about we'll throw it about halfway and then we'll put the new filter in okay that diesel but we put in halfway it just helps to prime out the diesel system right so we'll just make sure that we've got some nice clean diesel freshly bought diesel because diesel does actually get pretty pretty uh, deteriorates pretty quickly we'll just go halfway because if we put in too much and we put the new filter in uh, you know it's going to expunge a lot of the a lot of the the diesel okay once again we have the the new seal on i got nice rubber grease on there to make it uh, you know turn quite nicely so that it doesn't seize or stick and then as i was telling you about the protrusion over there just put it in nicely okay now you know that your filter is in the proper position and we'll just put that inside there and in actual fact we can put a little bit more diesel in there um, you know we don't as i say don't put in too much diesel because uh, you know you're gonna bigger make a big mess but put in you can gauge it you know put it in you'll see the filter soaks nicely so now we can tighten up okay we we'll tighten up as best that we can um okay our size 27 socket half inch drive short extension and a ratchet okay we'll just um basically tighten uh, tighten up you will actually see that it has got a stop um, I'll take you down there now and you can see that we're getting close to the stop now and you can see right here has the two joints okay that's your stop there and you see that gap there okay it's closing up until the two are touched against each other that is it you can't go further than that okay so we'll take our outlet okay just push it on nicely you'll hear the click okay and we'll take our inlet nicely click it in okay we can actually start the vehicle now and then once we've got it started we can just tighten up the brackets okay that okay so let's go ahead and try and start this car. right once we've got the filter on you know just wipe up all your spills as you go along um, we need to bleed out the system okay so there's various ways of bleeding out the system the best way would have be to have a, 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 a pump a high pressure pump which basically um, you know you will uh, come to this side to the pump the actual pump you will take the feed pipe so it's the outlet from the filter it's the inlet to your actual pump, diesel pump okay you'll attach you'll attach your, your, your high speed pump to it and you will pump all the air out of this pipe once you have the air out of the pipe you put the pipe back in to the diesel filter and then you will bleed it by the outlet on your pump okay size 17 so get somebody to crank for you and then as they're cranking you just open it up and get all the air out you get it out you can hear the air gum until you've got solid fuel coming through you can see the fuel coming through the see-through pipe over here because you know then you um, basically just tighten up your pipes and you'll start your car um, all right so we've gone through the bleed system you can see we've messed quite a bit over there but it's okay you can clean up nicely so now we're basically ready to start so go ahead Giuseppe and here we go okay you can still see some of the air coming out through the pipes okay it'll take a while to bleed out but as long as you have as long as the car starts you have pressure on the pump side pulling the fuel through the filter and it will basically automatically expunge any um, extra uh, fuel that you have Okay, so that's basically how you uh, replace a uh, diesel filter. So now we're going to take this car for a run and see if we have actually solved our problem. Okay, it, it was stalling, so uh, periodically. So we'll take it for a ride and then see what happens. Yeah, and uh, don't forget to put your brackets, uh, you know, and the engine cover back on, which is uh, fairly simple. Okay, other than that, the job's all done. All right, all the covers back on. Close the bonnet. Okay, let's go drive. Okay, and off we go. Okay, onto the freeway now. Getting the speeds up. Okay, my favorite uh, test 
dry brood, our cups are weg. Um, you can see we're reducing a little bit, we're reaching the top now. Uh, this vehicle has been pulling pretty well and I feel that um, you know the problem seems to be solved. Uh, it was definitely a matter of a uh, blocked uh, fuel filter. Um, reaching the top you can see why this is my favorite um, route uh, because it's got beautiful spectacular views from the top up here. Alright, so this car is uh, sorted. Um, I'll see you back at the workshop.